Welcome back to News 360. It's now time for a mission, and mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Now, officers at the Ghana Education Office in the Doma Central Municipality in Bunu region have been operating from a rented apartment for more than three decades. Construction of a new project funded by the Assembly and Get Fund has stalled for eight years. In the Doma Central Municipality in the Bunu region, the discharge of administrative duties by the Ghana Education Service Directorate is fraught with challenges. Since 1972, administrative duties have been carried out in this old structure, constructed, used and abandoned by a timber merchant. It is not spacious and has defects all over, posing danger to occupants. The partial wooden story building also leaks. Teaching and learning materials to be distributed to schools are kept in this makeshift structure, which equally leaks. Realizing the risk involved, a private apartment was rented three decades ago to augment the old structure, but this also comes with challenges. At the time of the mission team's visit to Doma and Hinkro early last month, staff were at post but not working. Our investigations revealed Power Distribution Services Limited had truncated power supply to the office because they were indebted to the tune of about 14,000. As a result, staff did not work for five days. When teachers bring letters we need to act on, we need typing, printing, we cannot do it. Even the assembly needs some records from us now, but it's on their computer. We, are, we cannot retrieve it until we get the power. So it's actually a big killing. The earlier it's restored, the better for us. Doma Central Municipal Director of Education explained the assembly was planning to intervene. We went to MC to see to the debate settled. He asked us to bring a letter. Today we made a followed up. Even in the presence of my FNA, he called the officers and told them that they were going to make some payment and then they would come and restore the light and they would make gradual payment to recover all the debt that the office faced, uh, that the office owe. Construction of a new Ghana Education Service Office by the Doma Central Municipal Assembly and Ghana Education Trust Fund, Get Fund, has stalled after its commencement eight years ago. The building now accommodates some miscreants. Municipal Chief Executive for Doma Central, Drisa Watara, said the contractor is being engaged to move to site. We are having issues with the contractor. Um, my checks you know, reveal to me that uh, considering the amount of money that the assembly has paid to the contractor, um, the work done there doesn't measure to how much you have paid to the contractor. So um, we are still having talks with her to see how best, you know, we can resolve this matter um, to making sure that we are able to finish the project for the education director to go and occupy it. Conscious efforts and commitment of resources and logistics would be required to ensure the completion of the Doma Central Municipal Ghana Education Service Office. Stanley Niblu, TV3 News, Doma Hinkro, Doma Central, Bono Region. Now work on an abandoned chief's compound to provide basic health care to residents of Bungbaliga in the Nanumba South District of the Northern Region is about 90% complete. Assemblyman for the area, George Tinanjem, told our reporter Stanley Niblo the contractor moved to site after TV3 aired a story on the stalled project. Bungbaliga literally means cultivate little and reap enough is one of the deprived communities in the Nanumba South District. In 2016, a contract was awarded for the construction of a community-based health planning and services, CHIPS facility. However, work stalled when work got to the roofing level. The structure comprises an outpatient department, OPD, consulting and maternity rooms, staff accommodation, among other auxiliary departments. When TV3 visited the community in late 2017, 500 bags of cement procured for the completion of the project were kept with individuals. The mission team was told then 
that the contractor was working on 12 other projects, so he hardly visits old projects he has commenced. However, the contractor went back to site to continue the project after TV3 had visited the community. The structure had been roofed, tiled, and painted with fittings and plumbing works yet to be done. When you came here, the report I gave you, I think about four this time, the people were asked to come and continue with their work, and they came and did it. Residents of Bungbaliga in the Nanumba South District would soon enjoy a decent health facility when commissioned by district authorities. Work done is 90% and it includes accommodation for staff. A water system is also on course. Residents are happy one of their plights will soon be addressed, but it will require competent staff to provide quality service when the facility is commissioned for use. Stanley Nibliu, TV3 News, Bungbaliga, Nanumba South, Northern Region. And that's all for Mission tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Thanks for watching.